just to address mm -hmm. your comment, um, you know, it, it's it's the prismatic effect taking away from one's sense of beauty and all that. It, it's hogwash, in my opinion. It only enhances the uh, the wonder. I mean, there's there's some property of light that that makes it do this to disperse into the different colors. And then Newton showed by using another prism that you could put the light back again and into white light and and the. Feynman's quote was, uh, you know, it's this, this, the pleasure of finding things out, basically. He wrote a book on that. But he also wrote a poem, which is one of my favorite poems of all time. And this is, you know, by a physicist, okay? So I warned Steve about this. It takes about two minutes, but hear, hear me through, because it's really powerful. This is from Richard Feynman, one of the most celebrated physicists of all time. I stand at the seashore alone and start to think. There are the rushing waves, mountains of molecules, each stupidly minding its own business, trillions apart, yet forming white surf in unison. Ages on ages, before any eyes could see, year after year, thunderously pounding the shore, as now. For whom? For what? On a dead planet with no life to entertain. Never at rest, tortured by energy wasted prodigiously by the sun, poured into space. A might makes the sea roar. Deep in the sea, all molecules repeat the patterns of one another till complex new ones are formed. They make others like themselves, and a new dance starts. Growing in size and complexity, living things, masses of atoms, DNA, protein, dancing a pattern ever more intricate. Out of the cradle, onto dry land, here it is, standing, atoms with consciousness, matter with curiosity, stands at the sea, wonders at wondering. I, a universe of atoms, an atom in the universe. So that expresses the joy that scientists have in wondering about nature and finding th things out and yet continuing to be in awe of that same nature and, and how it all happens, you know, so.